we've got a few flowers going on down at the scrub so we thought maybe we'll just load up a few of these gals from around home these are all the swarms that we caught during the year we thought we'd load them up take them down there and they could be the reconnaissance team like the what were they the navy seals the people that go in first <laughs> Get our little high block on. Let's see if we can bring that weak little nuke box and sit here where these guys are all coming home. They might bolster them up. That's a different version of flying, isn't it? You're flying without any effort. And we'll take those ones there as well, I reckon. So then they'll give us what? One, two, three, four, five. That'll be alright, that'll give us a bit of a test run. Your back. Oh. Well, those other boxes are that jolly light, it didn't matter, but this one's got a bit of honey in it, so. Rum. laid plans isn't it we were going to get all this shit organized and i don't know then the bloody ute doesn't go and then the lights don't work and oh fuck me then but anyway the girls are looks like they've settled down so we'll grab this little box out of the tree that we got yesterday and take them with us and we'll see whether we've got some white mallee honey coming your way they're in there doing a bit of house renovating at the minute this is a bit entertaining this is a whole different way to pick oranges isn't it <laughs> oh, I thought I'd grab a bee box out of a tree. <laughs> well, we're a little bit later than we'd planned, but we're all good. There's a nice little bit of Mally blossom going on around here. I was just checking out a tree over there a minute ago. We've got some bees that are obviously found a home here somehow. I don't know how they live without without my help, but anyway. <laughs> so these are just the reconnaissance bees. We just thought we'd grab these ones. These are these are basically the swarms we caught. Well, some of the swarms we caught during the year or during the spring. And I'm um, hell, it's getting a bit overpopulated at home. So I thought, well, I'll bring them down here and they can find out whether we bring the girls from the hills back to here or what we decide to do. So we'll come back in a I don't know a week or two and see if there's any nectar flow. But that's our plan anyway. Rightio, here's the last little newt box. Swinging out of the orange tree. Oh dear, <laughs> hopefully they're happy here. Mm -hmm. 
I was just noticing when we were carrying these little newt boxes that this one, because we only did this last night, you can still hear the frames rattling a little bit. But when you pick this one up, that's been in here for probably a few months, and you rattle it, and the frames don't rattle at all. So the ladies are sticking all together with their populus, populus, whatever how you pronunciate that, and make everything nice and neat and tidy. So that calls that. Tell you what, talking about that, that stuff's apparently really good for your saws and stuff. So we've got a little mat we're going to implement in a minute and see if we can catch some. Anyway, we'll let these ladies go free, and then we'll see what happens next. Where's them bloody orange trees gone? Oh, these won't be that busy anyway. Oh, that's the great release. Hello, ladies. Be free, be free. Well, there we go. Yep, hello, hello, hello. They're like, shit, where the hell are we? That was a bit bouncy. <laughs> Bit of an old trick when you can't get your 44 open, get yourself some on the lugs. Obviously, so you can create yourself a little spanner and you can get your lid open. That's pretty clever. If you do that, you can do that with a couple of screwdrivers too if you're not happen to be a beekeeper. <laughs> well, I do, I suppose, anyway, you might not. Or you can get a proper thing that you can stick in your drum. The hell. Anyway, then you wouldn't have learned anything today, would you? Here I am, I've still got the siphon hose. This is the emergency watering setup. <laughs> I got a big drum as well now, a big thousand litre tub. So that works, but anyway, hopefully I won't choke to death while you're all watching. Otherwise there'll be another barrage of, in of information how not to kill yourself. Oh, the ladies are all wondering, looking for a drink already, I reckon. I think I should take my hat off. I don't think it's gonna work real flat otherwise. Oh, I don't know, bloody hell. Oh, hang on, got me a racing strap on. <sighs> okay, okay, look, I'm trying to give you girls some water, don't get excited. Come on, you stinky bum. Nah. Come on, you can do it. You did it really good the other day when no one was watching. Oh, that reminds me of something. Ah, oh, this could be a long job. I feel a little bit like one of those horses when they have that dribbling water to make them pee before the race. Oh, God! Shit! <laughs> Here I was going to show you how clever I am. <laughs> so you wouldn't have to get excited. There we go. That's what's supposed to happen. Come on, you piece of junk. What are you doing? I might have it in the drum too far. Ah, oh, shit! Why does nothing ever work when you guys are watching? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I think I might need a new hose. I've got to, got to get my kink in the right spot. That's what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> Congratulations! Yeah. Yay! I know it's still an epic fail, but still. <laughs> You could try to put a tap at the bottom of this little drum, but the only thing is, I'm not exactly sure how to get the full thing down to the bottom because it's got a solid lid. If I use one of the other drums that has a screw trap lid, well, I suppose we could put a tap in one of them. Perhaps, now there's a project that maybe we could do one time. Anyway, the chicks are getting excited. We might have a crack at putting this little pop popolus, 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 I don't know, whatever the fuck it's called. The stuff they stick the hive together. We've got a couple of little traps to stick on one of these over here. And then we might bugger off before it gets too hot. Anyway, <laughs> the other day the lovely wife saying, can I have some populus out of your hive? And I'm like going, that's bloody hard shit to collect by the way, <laughs> if you want to make something out of that. So I saw these little ladies and I thought, well maybe we'll stick some of them in here and perhaps the girls could make it a bit easier for us to harvest the stuff. But who knows, maybe not. <laughs> Apparently you just pop it in the top. I reckon we'll turn these, make these the summer lids too while we're at it. Maybe that'll all work together because we'll turn these over so it can get the girls can get a bit more ventilation. Pop this on the top. I'm guessing that's what happens. I really don't know. I've never done this before, so I don't know exactly how it works. Oh, <laughs> that's not how that works. Uh, hopefully, the plan is that the ladies just build in that little, that, well, in these little holes. 
And then I don't know, I, the getting the stuff off of here even could be fun, because getting it out of the box is a pain. So I don't know whether it's going to be productive or not, but anyway. The things you do for your cosmetic inclined wife. Oh, rums. <laughs> I don't reckon these have got quite a population. Yes, they have. Oh, shit. Yo. <laughs> Maybe you'll do this one. <laughs> I meant to go. I had some gloves, and you know how I've been blooming using a bit of chlorine to, to look after them so as I can stop transferring any diseases. But interesting fact leather and chlorine don't like each other because they're blooming come back the next day and they're eating great holes in the jolly things. <laughs> so it wasn't much good. Hence why I'm not wearing any gloves because it's a bit pointless if they're all got holes all through them. Mind you, if there's lots of screaming in a minute, I might let the cameraman put this one on this angry box. <laughs> Chlorine and leather, they don't like each other. So there's a little note to yourself. And the wor even the, the worst version was the ones that were the nice soft leather that were designed to be washed. They just dissolved. <laughs> they were just, oh my gosh. They're not even worth trying to use. Things to note. Chlorine and leather, they don't like each other. And that's probably no surprise. <laughs> ah, maybe it'll open towards you. <laughs> They're not happy! You can even make toothpaste out of this stuff. But I don't think that's going to happen. That might be just a bit too weird. 